All right, guys, I'm back with uh, the second part of uh, creating custom textures for your Daisy clothes. Uh, so I left off with uh, basically getting to the stage of where you need to pack the files into a PBA and then just put it onto your Steam Workshop to then go onto your server uh, so it all works. So anyway, um, I'm going to be using PBA Project to uh, pack the PBA files, but like I said in part one, you can use Add-on Builder. For me, that doesn't seem to pack the files properly. So I use PBA project. Now, I'm hoping it's gonna work. Sometimes PBA project for me just doesn't work. Like, not that it doesn't pack the PBOs, it just doesn't work at all. Uh, so I'm hoping it, it is gonna be working. Uh, but basically, I think I've changed my settings in part one. But basically, make sure the mod folder helper is your mod folder. Um, so for me, that is located P drive, um, which is what we're on here, and it's live to swipe close. So this is the one i has got my add-ons and my keys folder in. This has been my mod folder. The source output, make sure it's wherever your folder is that you're working on. So like your config folder, as I call it. And that's this one. Uh, now, like I said, this automatically selects, uh, creates an add-on folder and puts the, the PBA in an add-on folder, which in the mod folder is here. So it'll create this add-on folder and it'll put the PBA in there. Uh, if you use... Add-on builder, I think you need to make the add-on folder um, and then obviously link it in your source output. Or if you use an add-on builder, you would link it uh, into the destination part on this. And if you are using add-on builder, this top one, the add-on source, is your mod folder. Um, so this top one here, mod folder. Same to this one, mod folder. And, uh, no, so... Add-on builder is opposite. So the add-on source is the fold, your config folder, the folder that you do all your configs in. Uh, so top one on add-on builder, bottom one on PBA project, um, and vice versa. The top one on PBA project is your mod <coughs> mod folder, and the bottom one on add-on builder is your mod folder. The only difference here is I've selected add-ons because I think you need to. Um, do that so uh, Daisy Add-on Builder will create the add-ons and so it actually puts the the, uh, the PBO in there. But PBO Project will automatically do that. You don't need to select add-ons. Just select your mod folder. It'll create the add-ons folder and it'll put the PBO inside. So, uh, with that said, make sure you click uh, see fill build or fill build. And I think that's it. Um, I briefly went over the, the setup here. Um, these I'll put in the description that you need to do. Um, but yeah, right, so let's just go ahead and click crunch. Uh, one last thing I do want to quickly say is, uh, I think I said it, when you close down Steam and that, or when you close down your, your computer, your laptop, uh, you will need to, to get your P drive back and to get Daisy Tools back, you do need to go to Steam, uh, open up Daisy Tools, uh, and make sure you uh, mount your p drive so for me it says dismount p drive because that's like i've already dis uh, i've already mounted it uh, but make sure you mount p drive extract game data you only need to do once so once you've done it your first time if you turn off your computer and back on again it's fine you don't need to extract it uh, right so let's click crunch this will crunch all the files into a pbo and oh is it actually working no okay i get it failed and and scan for some reason it just doesn't want to work um this is coming up with something to do with the pants pba but the pants pba is fine um so give me a second okay not produced due to errors okay i think i found the issue um it would help if i actually read uh this little script thing and it actually says here in my uh config file i've got an admin underscore cat dot paa dot paa um so i've gone in to my config file and what do you know i have i've got two dot paas dot paas it should only be dot paa there shouldn't be two sets of it so it should just look like that uh, so hopefully now if i save that um because i looked at it it's like there's nothing wrong there i read the transcript come back to the config and i was like there is something wrong there so hopefully that now i've saved it just close out of that hopefully makira tools should actually work uh close out of that 
Um, if we open back that, now if we just click crunch, it should work. But that used to be the error I get, so maybe there was an issue in my config uh, when I used to get them errors. Come on. It shouldn't take long and it shouldn't actually be just a blank screen. It normally does something straight away. But like, uh, I restarted my computer twice. <laughs> I tried a few things and it wasn't working. But yeah, you'll see. Um, make sure there's no errors you know, in your config. It is vital. I may have to restart this. Right, we're just going to just... Yeah, it's not responding. So if we close the program, open it back up, click crunch. There you go. You can see it's doing something straight away. Uh, hopefully no errors. There you go. It's all done. Job's completed. There's no errors popping up. So if we close that down now and we'll go to the P drive, uh, go to the Moz folder. Go to add-ons. You see now we've got a pants.pba. Now we need to sign, we need to re-sign uh, the keys all to these PBOs. So what you do is, uh, so I've got Steam on my other monitor, but go to Daisy Tools. Uh, got Daisy Tools open. We need to go to DSU Tools to sign keys now for these PBOs. Now even though I've already signed keys to these the jacket PBO and the, the pants PBO, um, I'm just going to sign keys to all of them. So if we open up DS Tools, I like all of them, drag them into DSU Tools, so I like that, um, and it also says they've got false keys, and just go to Process Files, uh, sign the PBO list, yeah, just click yes on that. They've all turned green. It still says false there. Um, but just close that down. But you can see now each one of the PBOs has got a, a one shot dot buy sign. So they've all been signed. And you can always check if you from back DSU tools. So we can just drag the one over. You can now see where it says signed, it's true. Um, which is completely fine. So make sure each PBO has got a buy sign to it by going to DSU tools, dragging the PBOs over, and click process files. Right, now that is basically it. We've just got to publish it. So to do that, we'll just close out of that. We'll go to publisher. Uh, now I've already got mine here, so I'm just going to update this mod, but you can just uh, select new workshop item, put a mod name in, so you know, your mod name, you don't need to put at symbol in front of it. Uh, then keep that as mod. Uh, put visibility to public. If it's only for you and like you only it's a private one, you know, you can just keep it private. Uh, so the files, the mod content needs to be your mod folder. So your P drive or, uh, or wherever you basically put this on. Um, I should just do it for your P drive just so... It's definitely going to work because I've heard, like I said in the first video, I've heard that you need to put it in your P drive. But I've also seen other videos where they don't put it in the P drive. But you select your mod folder and select folder. And then you can put a description if you want to. Um, put some change notes. Or, um, so, well, I'm going to put a change note, but I'm not actually going to do it as a new item. I need to select my one. But you can put a change note if you want to. You would click the agree box and you click publish. What I'm going to do is select my item, my mod. Um, yeah, it's already filled in there. Uh, select the mod content because we've updated it with the uh, the cap. We'll select folder. I'm not going to put a description. Uh, I, I will put a description eventually. But in this update, we are, we've added admin cap texture you know that's what, just something so you know what you do uh what you've done click agree and i'm going to click update but for you if it's your first time it'll say publish uh so you want to publish it but my mods already published it i'm just updating it now and of course you can uh browse and put an image in if you want to
and I, I need to update that image to a, my admin set. Uh, actually, it doesn't really matter. It can stay as that. But I'm, I'll probably update it to an admin set. And I click update. But like I said, for you, if it's your first time, you click publish. Yeah, click yes on that. Um, and you can see it's updating. Doesn't take long. Five to ten seconds-ish. And it's done. And you can see change notes. We put that there. Content size is like... 18.6 megabytes uh, and you can go to open item on web page if you want to um, this will open up in your steam we'll just drag that over that's updated uh, if we go to change notes you can see on the 8th of february which is today i did admin cap texture on the 6th i did uh, a pants test and there's a load of bunch of other ones where i updated because it wasn't working and i was testing uh, right, let's put Steam back over to my other monitor. I'm going to quickly, um, you don't need me to show you how you update files uh, client side or on your server. I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then I'm going to log into the server and it'll, it'll be my test server and I'll show you it working. Right, okay guys, let's now uh, show you the uh, textures working on that cap. So if I use my um, admin tools and go to object spawner. Now, this is community online tools. If you're using uh, VPP, uh, I think it's like item spawner. It's slightly different, but whichever one admin tool you use to spawn your objects, do that. Um, and then we want to find the right thing. No, that's object spawner. We want, yeah, that's what we want. Okay, yeah. Um, so if we just search LTS, and you can see it's up there. Um, I've already got pants and jackets like I showed you. Um, if we go to cap, it is there now. Yeah, you can see the textures there. If we just uh, spawn it, uh, there we go. Uh, you can't really see it because it's like directly on the top, and you really need to have done it like at the back. But you can see the texture is there. <coughs> um, maybe if we pop it on the ground, yeah, you can see it is the texture. Um, I either need, yeah, I probably should have done it on the back or maybe in smaller text and put it on the front. But you can see the texture is there and it works, which is pretty cool. Um, now it is, yeah, it is the wrong type of cap I wanted. I wanted, um, have I got it here? No, I haven't got it here. Oh, yeah, I have. I wanted this cap. Put it on myself. Take off. I'm just trying to show you. Okay, everything's a little bit laggy. I wanted like this cap, and I wanted to do it like a big thing across the front. Um, but yeah, but you can see it works. Now, <clears throat> so the other thing I want to show you. Let me just pick that one back up. The other thing I wanted to show you is uh, the description. So if we yeah, I think you can do it with it in your hands too. But stop lagging. If we put, if we just put our mouse cursor over it, you can see in the description box, "Live to Survive Admin Cap." Uh, that's the long abbreviated name. And then underneath, just above the the image of the cap, it says "LTS Admin Cap." So that's the short name. So that's where you you know what it looks like when you do the the description name, like I showed you in the config. Uh, yeah, and apart from that, the, the name that I said that you used to spawn it with, uh, which you put in the config, I sent it to LTS underscore admin underscore cap. So this is the, the class name of the item. That is the name in that if you want to spawn it, if you want to put it in your types uh, .xml file, if you want to add it to the trader, that would be the name that you would use. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Um, I hope, you know, these two parts of helps you understand you know how to create some simple textures for your daisy clothing and um get it onto your daisy server and anyone can pretty much do this if you follow that guide you should uh you know get it sorted in no problem at all and like i said you know join join my discord well you probably would have already joined it by now because you would have had to get the config file and i have actually made a channel um in my discord with the config file so you don't even need to speak to me Go into the Discord. There is a channel called, I think, Config Textures or something like that. I can't remember what I put the name as. Uh, but yeah, go in there. 
uh, download the config file and the only thing you'll have to do like I said is change the things in the config file like I showed you in part one but I named the config file config2.cpp you will have to change the name so it reads config.cpp uh, the reason I put it to config2 is because I've already got a config file like I saved it on my desktop and I've already got a config file saved on my desktop and I didn't want to override nothing so I've renamed it as config2.cpp so when you, if you I don't know if you get it, if you just download it and transfer it, copy it over to your your folder just make sure it's called config.cpp but I have made a note on the config file in discord I've made like a little a text note so you can see it, it says to actually change the file name Anyway, apart from that, thanks for watching guys, and until next time, peace out.